It looks like to me that China is trying to undermine U.S. brands by flooding the market, the markets all over the world, really, with uh, branded counterfeits. And enough to fool people as far as the quality and the looks and the feel. So in this case, uh, this is the Ontario, Ontario Rat Number no. 1 knife. And this is the legitimate one, and this is the fake one. So part of this video is to show you the difference, but other th the other part is to let you know that, to make sure that you know that there is almost every knife available on the market in different brands uh, counterfeited by the Chinese. They even have the packaging, uh, say Benchmade packaging, Spyderco packaging, Cold Steel packaging, and in this case with the Ontario packaging, perfect. Now this is the legitimate one. I threw away the, the new one. Uh, the the fake one, but um, but it's just like this. There's no difference. You can't tell. So don't get fooled by the packaging on any of these products. They are they look legit. Uh, the knives look legit, especially when you don't have one to compare it to. So this is the the real one with the counter uh, with the the carbon fiber scales, and it has a weight of five point four ounces. The counterfeit is. Uh, 6.1 ounces, so quite a bit heavier. It's actually quite a bit bigger, too, and if you can notice that. Uh, let's go ahead, while we're doing the weights, let's go ahead and put the, the plastic handle, genuine Ontario Rat, on the scale as well. So it's 4.9 ounces, slightly slightly lighter. So that's something to consider. Um, so let's go and zoom in here. And you'll notice there's quite a bit of a thickness difference in the blade and the handle. Uh, everything, the length. So this one is pr pretty much five inches on the dot. This one's a little bit under five as far as the measurement from here to the here. Uh, you can see the pocket clip is a little bit different. Uh, the screws are painted black on the real one when they're not on the other one. Uh, th these have different logos. Now the logos can change and, you know, Ontario has, uh, you know, this logo here on the blade so you can have either one, uh, but let's look at the the blade itself here because you can see the the words and the numbers are different there, and the logo. It's really hard to go by that, but just look at the actual blade itself. You can see on the real one on my left hand here, uh, the, where the the blade actually uh, extends out a little bit to make it easier to sharpen. So right in this area right here, it's, it sticks out, and this one's more flush. So you can see it's actually made quite a bit different. Uh, also, the, the angle here is a little bit off on that one, so there's no angle. Uh, the grind is a little bit different. Another really big, uh, if you have access to you know actually hold one in your hand, that if you go to change the pocket clips... Uh, you can do it on the real one. You can change it anywhere you want. But this one has the holes for it, but they're not tapped. So if you go to change the pocket clip to another hole, uh, then it just won't really work unless you have a tap. You can tap out these holes and, and thread them because there's no threads for it to, the screws to thread into. But yeah, who knows what the, the fake one is made out of uh, as far as the metal Certainly the quality or the heat treat or anything like that, we don't know. It could be decent. Considering the original is all say it's, you know, it, it could be something on that level. Uh, these little grinds right here are quite a bit sharper on this little grip than that one. This one's a little bit smoother. This one's sharper. And there's what the carbon fiber looks like. You see the screw there is different. Not only the color, but also just the uh, the actual the way it, uh, the screw size and all that stuff. Look at that side. Pocket clip is a little bit different. But yeah, I mean, with this particular, you see there's the words on that side. So you can see that. 
with this particular knife, uh, as far as like the way it's designed, it's pretty much foolproof. Uh, so you probably won't injure yourself using one of these fake ones. Not necessarily, but the, it's probably going to dull fast and um, and all that stuff. But the main thing with with buying a fake, especially if you do it intentionally, is that you're undermining uh, the U.S. brands by doing that because it's not that much cheaper. In this case, it's you know the 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 the, the copy is about you know twenty five thirty dollars something like that, and then the real one's not much more, just a few dollars more. So by by choosing the copy intentionally, you're undermining the brand. You're not getting you don't know really what you're getting as far as the quality, and uh, you know you're inconvenienced by the the holes not being tapped, that kind of thing. And uh, you know it's just really a participating in you know basically illegal activity when you're doing that. But but anyways, um, yeah, the, the definitely recommend the real products over the fake ones. And I, and I understand some people think that the real expensive boutique type knives, when they're duplicated and copied, um, that they're getting, you know, something considerably cheaper. Uh, but, you know, it does a lot to undermine the brands in the United States to participate in that whole uh, counterfeiting type deal. So, so I'm going to try to at least point it out so you don't accidentally get fooled. So you don't see a knife and, you know, wonder if it's real or not. There is some things that you can look at and tell the difference if you look really close. Uh, because it's not made in the same factory, the grinds are going to be different, uh, the screws are going to be different, stuff like that. So you can you can figure it out. But if you don't know that there's fakes out there, then you're not going to you know, take the time to look or even think about it. And a lot of people are just completely oblivious to that fact that there is fakes uh, on the market. I mean, a ton of them all over the place. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.